you use spinach every time you make a smoothie or make a green juice? Are you afraid to venture out into the world of greens that is available to us these days? I know I used to be. I would make smoothies with spinach every single day. I did this because I was afraid to try something new and I thought it was going to taste terrible. And honestly, at times it did taste terrible, but I kept putting one foot in front of the other and I kept trying new things. And eventually what happened is my mouth started to water when I would try new greens. Today, I'm gonna share with you some of the different greens that I buy on a regular basis to rotate through my recipes for juices, smoothies, salads, and stir fries. The purpose for rotating my greens is so that I get a different nutritional profile every time I eat greens. Now, sometimes I eat the same greens all the time, but, but I want you to know that it is important to rotate your greens. First off, I wanna say watercress is the most nutrient dense vegetable on the planet. If you can get it in your body, get it in your body as quickly as you possibly can. I normally find mine at Whole Foods Market, but it's good for the kidneys, the bladder. It helps nutrient ab absorption. It fights viruses and bacteria. It's full of chlorophyll. It helps the lungs get rid of phlegm. It improves your skin health. It helps your heart health. It purifies your blood. It's anti-cancer. I mean, I can't say enough about watercress if you need to build your blood this is a excellent addition to your daily regimen so you know dandelion greens are a powerhouse if you could get these in at least once a week that's going to be great for you it supports the liver the kidneys it helps treat anemia it moves inflammation out of the body it has also been known to fight HIV. I know that nobody really likes to talk about the fact that they have HIV, but I know that there are women in this audience that are struggling with HIV. And if you have it, dandelion greens is something that you can use to help support your body. It is anti-cancer, anti-tumor. It helps with healthy bones, helps with healthy skin. It is just an amazing herb. So if you can get your hands on some fresh dandelion leaves, then you should as soon as possible. I have normally found dandelion greens at Sprouts Farmer's Market when they had Kroger here in my area. Kroger's closed down, so we don't have Kroger right now. And I buy it all the time at Whole Foods Market. So I hope that's helpful. Next is flat leaf parsley. It helps improve your immune system. It's full of iron. It helps he wounds heal faster and it helps keep your eyes bright and sparkly. One of the things that I struggled with when I was anemic is my eyes would get really, really red and there was nothing I could do about it. I could put some eye drops in my eyes, which is not a healthy thing and it would clear up for a minute but then they'd be red again but it was because of the extreme anemia i had and parsley is one of the things that will help bring your eyes back to the way they're supposed to be they also promote good healthy heart uh, balances your body fluids they're good at antioxidants if you ha uh, have arthritis or stiff joints it's going to help with that it helps with your teeth and gums and it is excellent for the digestive system so get yourself some parsley in your juices and smoothies and also cook with it also you know whenever you have these greens you can steam them but don't cook them to death where they're limp and they don't have any vitamins and minerals left over if you watch any of my cooking videos you will always hear me say that i don't cook my vegetables to death that's just so that they can continue to have some life in them the next vegetable is bok choy. Bok choy is a cruciferous vegetable which helps to metabolize excess estrogens in the body. It's healthy for your bones, your cardiovascular system. It helps manage your blood pressure. It's anti-anemia. It helps with your eyes. Uh, it prevents constipation. It promotes healthy healing. It's anti-inflammatory. It helps the immune system and it's excellent for glowing skin so get you some bok choy 
in your body so that you can bring on the healing. So you can put it in juice, you can put it in smoothies, and you can cook with it as well. Next we're gonna talk about lemongrass. Lemongrass is one of those things you want to add to your food. First of all, it has lots of flavor to it. But last week I did a recipe, a smoothie recipe where I added it. So it has great benefits for the body. So add it to whatever you want, juices, smoothies, you can cook with it. You can put it in your, your stir fries. You can even make tea out of it. It is a powerhouse, it has tons of benefits. It's an antibacterial. It reduces diarrhea if you have diarrhea. It helps with rest, respiratory conditions. It's an anti-inflammatory, meaning it helps get rid of pain. It helps protect the liver. It's an insect repellent. Uh, and it's an antifungal as well. And there's a ton of other benefits that it has. It's an anti-cancer, anti-tumor. I mean, lemongrass is a powerhouse. So get some in your body as soon as possible. I usually find lemongrass, fresh lemongrass at Whole Foods. I believe they have it at Sprouts and they may have it at other rest, at other grocery stores. I, I'm just not sure, but those are the two places that I know that I've seen it. And last but not least is the almighty cilantro herb plant. And it is great for heavy metal cleansing. A lot of us have heavy metal poisoning in our bodies, especially if you've ever had your feet, teeth filled from cavities, depending on the type of filling you've gotten. But the foods that we eat are just full of metals. So, and it is a, con it is a contributor to reproductive issues. So it helps get rid of heavy metals. It helps uh, a damaged cardiovascular system it helps if you have diabetes or if you're pre-diabetes or insulin resistance helps with your sleep it helps with blood sugar levels it's an antibacterial antifungal it's just a natural deodorant so if you stink add some cilantro to your diet and it's going to give you some benefits that you didn't think were possible just from eating a food it's very powerful so that's it ladies I hope this has been helpful to you if you need information about healing reproductive issues all you have to do is go down in the description box below this video and there's a ton of information down there and links that you can click on so that you can learn more but be sure that if you like this video to like it if you haven't subscribed subscribe and if no one told you that they love you today, Chelsea in North Carolina loves you very much and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.